Hi guys, hope we're well. Uh, let's have a quick look over the markets. It's 23rd of July. Uh, S&P higher, not massively, but higher. I think last night uh, we had a little break uh, of this, this trend. It was choppy when it first went, to be fair. So it's more of a bit of a guide I had on last night. But uh, you can see that that's pushing on. And luckily I got, I got in at, uh, at 29. Uh, still holding it. And I don't know, I, 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 think, uh, I think that's the low. I think that's the low until the all-time high. I know that's quite a bold call, and especially as we're on a trend line now. And if that goes, then maybe we do start drifting lower. But yeah, for me, I'm I'm happy to hold it. I've, I've, it's risk-free now for me. Um, so yeah, I, I think we, we may have seen the low. When does that not really look as good? Well, if we get below the, the, the double top, you've also got a break of that trend as well. So I would say now 32.70. Uh, is a very key key zone that needs to be defended and really you probably can move that down towards these previous highs that we broke through here so around 32.68 is the key level so those would be the points to the downside that I'd, I'd be keeping an eye on uh, also today worth looking at the, the daily chart just in case we do get up to the next low that broke through so the 10th of uh, February low broke through on the 24th coming in around the 3300 handle, so big level there to keep an eye on. Um, let's have a quick look over at the euro, um, which is, is up for the day as well. Are we overextended? Yes. Should we have a little pullback? Uh, ideally, I would say. I think, um, yeah, I, I was speaking to Alex, so I, you wouldn't want maybe the pullback all the way here, but that could be a point where it might excite people to to get involved along with these previous highs seen on on the daily chart for, for places to consider uh, along just in, in terms of the daily chart when we are looking you know we're not far away from getting that the high of the journey, last year incredibly really isn't it after the journey it's been on and, uh, and whatnot um, levels to be aware of today obviously pivot with the overnight low looks good also, I would say I probably prefer yesterday morning's high uh, as that point to get in. Um, I guess if we have a bit of momentum into the afternoon, the, the data maybe comes out a bit better than expected, comments, whatever, then yeah, a break of those highs is not a bad little trade up towards that R1, but that R1 is going to be key. Uh, as I said, the 2019's high incredible isn't it uh, the pound is uh, a market that's just drifting lower but for me it's sort of that medium term buyers market if you like as long as we stay above this area so it, it, it's again if you feel the pound is overvalued up at these highs and I think that's not a, a bad judgment I would say look, be patient and, and wait for it to get back below uh, really the low of yesterday those, those previous highs so we're, we're just starting to drift down a bit um, but good area support which found the buyers come in again at the 127 handle so yeah I think below there another test fine down towards the, the, the low of yesterday which for me still a buy but um, just because the dollar I think is weak but below there is, is where I would be saying you know and then we can actually get quite a decent move just the way the pound has, has worked in recent times to be honest um, Aussie dollar is just pushing down a touch. I mean, that is one extended market, but I actually quite like the idea. And I was saying this to the guys earlier, didn't quite materialise, but if we can get back above these highs at some point, I, I quite like the just the, the long of that. Um, now, as we come back down to the S1, I wouldn't mind seeing a little false break scenario for, for that in there, for, for the Aussie. But of course, that is, that is uh, up quite big for the week. Wouldn't surprise me to go into a bit of consolidation that's buying the, the lows isn't the, the worst idea in the world. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you'll have a, a good second half of the session, and I'll catch you all later on.